friends welcome back to endo tales from life in one of our previous videos on apexification with pulpotomy we had already discussed about the bioceramic putty that is ready to use how simple and easy it is compared to mta and biodentin so in that video we had also mentioned that the only bioceramic putty that is right now available in the indian market is the bioc repair from angelus so we are just going to review and also demonstrate this product in this short video. So according to the manufacturer, this is a ready to use material that can be used in almost all the indications where MTA and biodentin is generally used in clinical endodontics. And it's available as a 0.5 gram syringe that comes with a clockwise thread in syringe or a clockwise screw in syringe. So when you turn the syringe clockwise you will see the material slowly getting dispensed from the tip and a word of caution I would like to mention here because when, when I tried this for the very first time I dispensed more material than what was required for that particular situation so though it's just a 0.5 gram syringe you can easily use it for 10 to 20 application depending on the procedure so uh, uh, you need to be careful and just dispense what is required for the procedure alone so the first case where I use this particular material is this. This is for a perforation repair. This particular premolar was referred to me uh, because the clinician who referred was only able to locate a canal and also created a nitrogenic perforation while searching for the second canal. So this is how we go. And this was the initial situation. And after we managed to locate the canal that was missed and then we are going to see or repair the perforation now and you can see here it's so easy to dispense it's not sticking to the to my instrument I'm just using my bokan and plugger to both carry the or pick up the putty from the syringe and place it into the cavity and also condense you can see here like I mentioned I had taken more material than what is required almost half of what I had taken would have been sufficient for this case so according to the manufacturer the setting time the initial setting time is 15 minutes and the final setting time can take up to 60 to 120 minutes but from a clinician's point of view the initial setting time is more than enough for us to proceed to the next step like uh, in this particular situation if it's a perforation repair you, you can just leave it alone and the cement can set by itself or if you feel there is less moisture for the cement to set as the perforation side is pretty small you can additionally hydrate the cement by using a moist applicator tip or also place a moist cotton pellet over the perforation repair and wait for 10 to 15 minutes in a procedure like apexification you may not have to do the step because there is enough moisture from the root dentin and the periapical region for the cement to set. So the cost, this is the cost of this material uh, at present and like I already mentioned considering that it can be used for 10 to 20 uh, situations or cases this also works out pretty economical. So there are a lot more bioceramic putty or ready to use bioceramic paste available uh, in different parts of the world. This is endo sequence that's available in the US market the same that is available in the European market is the total fill and there are also a lot of other brands like one fill the endo seal that they're also having the bioceramic putty and soon I believe they'll be hitting the Indian market so this is the second case that I'm going to show for you this is a case where we did an apexification again in a very young girl who had a trauma a couple of years back and she reported with a necrotic uh, maxillary lateral incisor with an immature apex or an open apex that we colloquially call it as. So after the access what I'm going to do is just, just do the basic cleaning and shaping and followed by that before we do the apexification procedure I just prefit the bokan and pluggers we have a set of three pluggers and all the three of them will have two ends so I'll be randomly selecting the pluggers that fits well in the apical third and you can see here this plugger is having a snug fit that in, in the sense it's not going beyond this point 
so I'm safe. I know that when I when I'm going to condense the material, I'm not going to push it excessively beyond the apex. And now I just carry the bioceramic putty with my plugger, place it into the pulp chamber, and slowly start condensing with my prefit plugger. And like I already mentioned, we know that we cannot push it beyond the apex because my plugger fits very well there. And I condensed it pretty well. And you can see the apical barrier that has been formed with the bioceramic putty in say less than 20 to 30 seconds effortlessly. And I take I confirm it with the radiograph and I just wait for say 10 minutes for the initial set to happen. And then I just do the backfill with my um, obturation pen and gun. So in this particular scenario, I used the Gata Smart from Densply for the backfill. And I also use uh, an additional bioceramic sealer that is the Sera seal and we finished this apexification in just one visit and this was the initial situation and we also did an internal bleaching to lighten up considering the age of the patient. Uh, I had postponed indirect restorations till the occlusion is going to settle. So for now we are just done a simple composite restoration to restore the form function and aesthetics for the patient and this is the pre-op and this is the post-op and i hope this video was helpful for each one of you and see you all soon in our next video